Whiskey Whisper. Haven't done a little video in a while, but uh, I, haven't, I haven't really been able to have a drink. So, but that's a long story. Today I want to talk to you about something that I'm pretty excited about. That's the new Wiser's 150. We've got two bottles that I felt it was a pretty darn good investment. So you can see it here on the TV with the other camera angle. So with these, there were 7,827 bottles made total. It's a Canadian whiskey. So if you're outside of Canada, this is Canada's 150th anniversary. So Wiser's has done this to commemorate the event. And what they've done is they've taken one week, or every week, out of the 150 years and numbered each bottle with one week. So every bottle is unique. And apparently there's 7,827 weeks between Canada Day, which is July 1st, 2017, and all the way back to July 1st, 1867, which is when Confederation was formed and the British North America Act was signed, well, shortly before in March. So Canada became a country unto itself. We were able to make our own rules in the legislature. We didn't need to have legislative approval from the British on most things. And that continued to progress all the way up to 1982 when we formed our own constitution and charter, etc. This is not Canadian history class, my friends. This is whiskey talk. Ow! So it's a 16 year old whiskey, if I understand correctly. And it's half corn whiskey and half rye whiskey. Most Canadian whiskeys are rye whiskeys. That's what we're known for. Some people really, really go crazy for the Canadian whiskeys. I mean, most people, whiskey drinkers, I would imagine, are scotch drinkers, but Canadian whiskey's a, a little bit on its own. It's not as harsh as scotch. It's, it's one of the mellower whiskeys. Mellower than bourbon, I would think, too. I mean, bourbon's kind of abrasive sometimes. I, I wouldn't say it's as mellow as an Irish whiskey. So anyway, I'm gonna open one of these bottles. I'm gonna have a sniff. Should uh, I got a glass up here? I think so. Anyway, this is the new set for Whiskey Talk. What do you think of it? So, give you one split second. Put the fireplace on. So that's kind of nifty. Figure I'll try to do things a little more professional. I've got some editing software and such. So right now the decision has to be made on the spot of which bottle to open. I've got the week of November 1st, 1915, bottle number 2,523. And I've got bottle 524, July 9th, the week of July 9th, 1877. So this is almost exactly a year after Canada was formed. No, 10 years after Canada was formed, that makes more sense. So which one to open? Good question. 1915, we were starting up World War II, pretty good. 1877, 10 years after formation of Canada. Is there going to be value in a, in a lower number bottle? I think I'm going to open the 1915 here. Let's see. I am experimenting with a second camera angle. We'll see how it works. I've had a hard time. It's an action cam. So uh, the angle's really wide. I'm trying to get uh, Chromecast to work properly here on the TV. If you can't see it here, the second camera does with some whiskey shots. Right now it's gone to uh, some lake. Looks to be in the National Park. Beautiful, really. So it is a corked bottle, you know. And if you know how I feel about corked bottles, it's a good thing. That's for sure. It's cheap when you see a screw top. It drives me crazy. Gibson's finest moved over to a uh, cork. Big, big move. 
The bottle doesn't look as nice in my opinion, but what can you do? Like I said, I haven't really been drinking much and even a tiny bit has been a little bit uh, been staying away from. So let's have a good sniff of this anyway and see what happens. Maybe I'll be tempted. Now, I mean, for Canadian whiskeys, I've had Weiser's. Weiser's is nice. Oh, look at this. We got a little cork around the bottle. That's not cool. Weiser's is, is definitely up there. I'd usually, sorry Weiser's, but usually I take a cake with uh, Gibson's Finest. But I've, I've had my share of Weiser's in the past. So it's like I said, 16 year, half corn, half rye. Let's see what's happening. Mellow, mellow. Not sure if I've had a 16 year Canadian. I've had an 18 year Gibson's. Tiniest drop, let's see what it smells like. I was going to do this review next week for Canada Day, but uh, frankly, I don't know how long it'll take me to edit. I was kind of excited about getting it to happen today. Rubbing alcohol. Oak. Another whiskey bottle showed up. Right on. So it's not like I expect this to be the, the most beautiful whiskey I've ever tasted. The merits of this whiskey are based on the labeling and the numbering and the limited edition. I mean, hey, I mean, let's not prejudge this. It might be beautiful. It's got a warmness to it. Definitely got a warmness. A little bit of raisins. I wonder what kind of barrel it is. It says what kind of barrel it is. Way to make a tight cork, you guys. Man. Nope. You're not cork friendly. It's good, but it's it's too much cork for the bottle, guys. Or to the wise. Here we're saying Canadian ingredients. Smooth notes of vanilla, toffee, caramel. No mention of the bottom of the barrels, so we'll assume maybe it's just plain and simple oak barrels like you'd see in the U.S. I wonder if they char them on the inside, but it's another story. I might be a mumbler, guys, but deal with it. Light. light on the tongue. Kind of getting an orange, orange raisin type of, type of dried fruit flavor. Not too much rubbing alcohol. It's kind of nice there. This is a pretty nice little whiskey actually. I don't have much of a problem with this. Being a limited edition, being something that I see will go up in value, I would, you're not going to hear me say this much, I would say that's wedding present whiskey. Make you look like a rock star for 60 bucks if you can get your hands on one of these. We had to call around at liquor stores. Someone I know went and bought six bottles on my recommendation. It makes me a little nervous that my investment idea will come through, but I don't see why it wouldn't. So I opened bottle 2,523 from 1915. I've left unopened the uh, 1877 week of July 9th. So if you can get your hands on it, go for it. Like this is a, a beautiful deal if you ask me. And if you can't, I'm sorry to hear that. If you're in the neighborhood, come by, we'll have a drink. Anyway, it's it's been nice. Hopefully we can keep Whiskey Talk going strong. The new set. I hope you like it. Uh, we'll try to, got some work to do with the video editing. I'm really gonna put some work in with the second camera. 
I've had mixed experiences with that. So, thank you very much. Goodbye. For the time being. <laughs>